Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. I am Facundo Carvajal and today we will see how to connect a smart contract already deployed to our website using Web3. Actually, I am using Remix and Web3 instead of Truffle because with this we can interact with many smart contracts uh, at the same time and those smart contracts don't have to be deployed by myself. It can be, for example, USDT or BUSD and I just have to get the address of those smart contracts and then with the ABI of any RC20, I can interact with them. So it's more simple and at the practice it's very useful to understand how to who to use Web3 and Remix because we can interact with our smart contracts but also we can interact with other smart contracts that another people deployed those contracts so it's very useful to to know how to use Web3 and Remix I remind you that all the code of this project will be on my GitHub repo and also I invite you to see the code for yourself and also clone it and test it on your own. I wrote a readme file so you can understand how to clone my github repo and how you have to configure uh, your project to test it. So now I led you with the video. To start we will need a smart contract. For example in this case I will create a simple one with only two functions. One to read some variable and the other that changes the value of this variable. Once we have our smart contract, we deploy it to the blockchain that we want using Remix. Remix is an IDE focused on smart contracts. To connect Remix with the blockchain that we want to work with, we have to go to this section and then on the environment section, we have to set it to injected web tree. Immediately, Remix will get our blockchain and we can start to work. Lastly, I am using Remix to deploy my smart contracts instead of Truffle. Now I am working with Remix and Web3. For the other hand, we will need a website to interact with this smart contract. So I will create one very simple. On the web project, we create a file that handles the interaction between the smart contract and the web application. Of course, we will need Web3, so we have to install it, the package using this command. After that, we import the package like this. With the contract deployed, we search on Remix the JSON file that it's created when we compile our smart contract. Usually it's called the name of the contract and underscore metadata or something like this. We copy this file and inside of the web project we create a folder that I call ABI. And inside of this folder we create a JSON file and here we paste the file that we just copy from Remix. Now, inside of the file that will handle the interactions between our smart contract and the web application, we have to import the JSON file. After that, we will need an RPC to connect with our smart contract. We can get an RPC on Infura or Morales. In this case, I will use Morales. First, we have to create an account on Morales website and then go to speedy nodes and then get the RPC that you want. So inside of the file, we create a variable that contains this RPC. We store the interface of the contract that Web3 offer us inside of a variable and then we will add to this instance a provider. 
and this provider will be the RPC that we got before. Now we create a variable that contains the contract address and finally we can start to connect our smart contract with our web application. First we will need a function that connects our dApp with our wallet. To do this we don't need any RPC or JSON file which contains the ABI of the contract, we just need Web3. But it is necessary to interact with our smart contract using our favorite browser wallet. To do this you will have to copy this code. You can get this code from my github repo. I always use the same code to connect my dApp with our favorite browser wallet. So this code will work for you in any dApp that you want to create. Now we create a function that handles the access of, to the data of the smart contract. This is the function that we will call from the web application. Because in this function, first we will connect our dApp with our browser wallet and then we will get all the data from our smart contract. To start getting the data from our smart contract, we will need an instance of our smart contract. To do that, we will use the contract interface from Web3 that we stored before in a variable. Um, to this interface, we will pass two parameters. First, the contract ABI and then the contract address. But first, I will get the address of the account that is connected with our DAB. Now we can interact with our smart contract. To read data from our smart contract, we will have to call the methods of the smart contract. We write the name of the public function that we want to call. And finally, we finish the line with that call. Because this function doesn't modify the state of the blockchain, just reads values, so it will not consume gas. From this function, we will return an object that contains the value obtained, the instance of the contract, the address of the wallet of the user, and the contract address. Inside of the JavaScript file, we will call this function. We can choose if we want to call it from a button or just when the page loads. In this case, I will use a button to connect our dApp with the smart contract. I will create a function that handles that. Inside of this function, I will store the value of the load data function. To show this data on our web, I will create some state variables using rect hook use state. So after we get the data, I will set the values. If we run our web, we will see that effectively we can read the data from our smart contract. Lastly, we will see how to call a function from the smart contract that change the state of the blockchain. To do that, inside of the JavaScript file of the web, I will create a function that handles that. First, we will need the instance of the smart contract. We will call the method that we want just like did before, but we will end this line with that encode ABI inside of call. We have to store this data in a variable. Later, we will need the nonce of the address of the user wallet. To do that, we only need to use this web tree function and pass it the address of the user. After that, I will get the gas that this function will consume. So to get that, we have to call the method, but now we have to end the line with estimate gas. And inside of the parentheses, we have to pass it an object. This object has to contain the address that calls the function, the address of the contract, the nouns, and the data that we get in the first place. Finally, we have to create another object that contains the address that call the function, the address of the contract, the gas that this function will need, the gas price, and the data. 
the gas that this function will use and the gas price, we have to pass it in hexadecimal. And to do that, I use the web tree functions like you can see. You can get the actual gas price from this website. So to end this function, we have to send this to our browser wallet. So we have to call a method of Ethereum. And inside of the params, we have to pass our object like an array. With all of this done, we just connect this function to the button and that's it. We can change the state of the contract. To see the changes in the website, we will have to reload the page. But we can avoid that if after that we call the, the theory method, we execute the then method. And here we create an interval that runs every 500 milliseconds. And inside of this interval, we will ask if the transaction has been confirmed or if it has any errors. Once the transaction is complete, we call the function that gets the data from our smart contract and then we clear the interval. So basically that is how you can connect your smart contract or any smart contract to your web application using Web3. Um, I want to aggregate something and that is that if you see my github repo, if you see the code, uh, you will notice that I modified the index.js file and I aggregate just an input because the change number function uh, only changed the number to 3. So if we try to change the number again, it will be replaced 3 by 3 and it will be the same. So I decided to aggregate this input so you can type any number and then click on change number and well the smart contract will be upload update sorry the smart contract will be update the the number to the number that you type so it's a simple change but i also invite you to to clone my github repo and also I don't know, aggregate something new, um, so a new way to change that number. I don't know, can be a slider or... I'm sure that <laughs> you, will, you will get a nice idea. So that it. So I remind you that if you like this kind of videos, you can subscribe to my channel the like button and of course let me know on the comments see you on the next video